What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be replacing the AC condenser and recharging the AC on my Civic. Um, if you wanna watch just the part where you recharge the AC, go to this point in the video. Otherwise, let's get started. So first things I'm gonna be removing is, I already have my hood popped, I'm gonna take off my front bumper and then I'm gonna be removing the metal bumper as well. And then the AC condenser is right there, right behind the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front bumper and then the actual ram bumper and then I'll, I'll show you what we gotta do. Got that all removed it's all over there the bumper and the bumper cover and uh, so next we need to remove the AC condenser um, one thing I do need to point out is your high and low valves up here one and two that is that does have free on it currently and it's not good to let it out into the environment so you can take it to a certified mechanic they'll have a free on container that they can you know draw it out for you um, if you're doing this yourself you know or you can even purchase one yourself, it depends, it's up to you. But you'll need to get all the Freon out like I did, it's all gone now. And then uh, you can go on to moving, removing your condenser. We have a bolt over here, and then one over on the other side as well. That'll pull these mounting brackets off, and then we'll have two connections down here, one, one. And uh, so we'll pull that off, disconnect those, and we want the other condenser ready. So that way, right as we pull that off, we want to throw the other one as soon as possible to reduce the amount of contaminants that'll get into the system. So we're gonna go ahead and break these loose, get those loose and ready. Then I'll show you how to prep your new one. And then uh, we'll do the swap really, really quick. So let me bust those loose. I got it out. Um, you can see how big this thing was. Just got them all over. They're all up in here. So I have to get this all cleaned out in here. And now even vacuum some of this just to clean up the radiator a little bit. That's looking a little rough too. But as you can guess, nothing went good here. We got one here, one here, and this upper one, it broke off into the condenser. So, but not to worry, in the new one over here, I checked and they send you with some newer ones. And these I checked go all the way through. So that way I can just use these two to replace that. That way I don't have to worry about either tightening that one and have it break or you know, having you get another bolt. So I'm gonna hurry up and get things put up here as close as soon as I can because I don't want that open any longer than it has to. Um, so like I guess I'm gonna clean this up really quick. And then one thing I do wanna tell you, um, you can get some sort of oil, it doesn't really matter. In my case, I'm gonna be using the motor oil that's over there from my car. And you want to put not a lot, but just a little bit on the O-ring right there. That'll help seal it. So just a, just a little bit, just take your finger, dip it in there, just a little bit around there before you reseal it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up and then get everything ready to put this one back in and uh, hopefully get that done. Put a little oil in the cap there. Like I said, I'm just gonna dip the end of my finger in it. Just sort of run it around that. Get that clean off. Get a little bit of lubricant on there, so it's a little bit bigger. So just a little bit of sealant, just so we don't have to worry about that not sealing correctly. And we'll set you guys down here.
and that seems pretty sturdy there as you can see so we got all these hooked back up go ahead and throw your bumper back on and then uh, your bumper cover and uh, yeah so that should get us finished up with this and then we'll move on to charging the AC Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and got everything put back on as you can see and my brother SJ is here He's gonna walk us through the process on how to recharge the AC. So take it away All right, so first thing you do is just grab uh, AC manifold gauge set and the easiest thing is just hook it up on the top of the hood there just makes it super easy to Keep everything out of the way uh, You got In the kit you should have all of the hoses the adapters, fittings, all that. You're just gonna hook it up to all the color coded stuff. So you got blue, obviously blue, red, red, yellow, yellow. Sometimes the cap will come off, but it's the only one left. So the yellow is just gonna go to your uh, vacuum pump here in a minute. And then once the vacuum's pulled, it'll be what you charge it with. So you hook the can to this, which we'll show you that once we get to that stage. Uh, but for now, what we're gonna do is just hook up. Now this has already been cleared out. So the uh, Freon's already been removed. So all we're doing at this point is just recharging it. So we're putting Freon back in. So uh, you want to just make sure you have everything hooked up right so you can hopefully don't have any leaks. And you want to hook these up. They're just a coupler style. And they're going to go right over your uh, connectors here. So the little sides on this side. You just push down, pull up on the collar, and it should click right on like that. And then we'll do the same with the red, which is your high side, which is in this car is up here. Just going to hook right on like that. But make sure these are closed up here. Close these. All right, and then we'll just open this. Once you hit bottom, you might want to back off a little bit because you can actually break the Schrader valve if you run the way down. But you're going to open this one as well. Back off a little bit. All right, and then this here, let's grab the vacuum pump. Vacuum pump here. Just set it wherever it's comfortable. Be careful with that battery. Let's wait, recharge it down here. Yep, that'll work. Chuck it right up to your vacuum pump here. Make sure everything's good and tight. And then we gotta get some power out here, but once you get power out here, just gonna plug it in, turn the switch on. Um, yeah, turn the switch on and then we'll open these up. And let's go get some power and then we'll show you guys that real quick. All right, so we got power now. So we're just gonna turn the Next pump on. Kick on there. And then up here on the valves that we closed earlier, you're just gonna open both of these. Did we lose power? We lost power. Okay. okay. Yep, open these right up. Both of these. And then we'll let that do its thing. You're gonna want to let it sit. For, it depends on who you talk to, but we're going to do about an hour. We're going to sit on, on for an hour and then we'll jump back in and we'll show you what we do next time. We're going to let it cool back in for an hour so it clears all of the air out of it and um, the vacuum will also remove the water. So we're going to make sure we have no water in there. One hour later. Alright guys, so we've let it sit for a little over an hour now, uh, pulling a vacuum. If you look on here, you'll see that the needle, we've got zero here. It's down to the 30. Uh, if it's terminology, that's basically vacuum pulling down. And then over on this side, it's also below the zero. So what we're going to do is before we turn the pump off, we're going to close these valves. So just run them all the way down. Snug them up a little bit. All right. And then we can go ahead and shut the pump off. And then what we're going to want to do is reference where these needles are. So easiest way to do it is take your cell phone. Take a quick picture of it. And that way we've got a reference of where the needles are. What we're gonna do is let it sit for at least a half an hour, a little longer if you've got the time. And uh, what you wanna do is come back in about a half hour or more, make sure those needles have not moved uh, back to zero. Because if you move back to zero, that means that it pulled air into the system and removed it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and 
guys, so we've got this sit for well, a little over 30 minutes now. And we, what we did, the easiest way to do this is take another picture with your cell phone. And then if it's the last picture in your photo roll, you can just swipe back and forth between them. And you can see that the needles, where they're at, if they're the same or not. So in this case, the uh, low side was at the 30, and it doesn't look like it's moved at all. And then on the high side, it's there's no markings, but you can kind of just judge it from the pin or just you know reference it roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it looks like they both have stayed exactly the same. So it looks like we're good to go as far as that goes. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and charge. Real quick thing for you guys. When you buy your refrigerant, we're using most modern cars today use R134A. Uh, you wanna just, when you're doing this, you wanna get just straight refrigerant. You don't wanna get the stuff that has the leak prevention or sealant. Uh, all that kind of stuff, it's it's unnecessary because you're just charging. As long as you prove that you don't have any leaks like this here, you don't need the sealant stuff. And the sealant stuff really isn't the best, but you know, there's a time and place for that. So anyway, um, when you buy these cans, you can get them two different ways. You can get them with like this can here, which has a resealable plug. So basically what that means is when you uh, go to charge the system, if you don't use a whole can, which in this case, we're gonna use one and a half, um, you don't have to worry about the rest of it leaking out. You can also buy cans that are not, they don't have the resealable plug, so it's just a flat surface here, and you would have to pierce it, which is what this does. This valve here, you attach it to the uh, yellow line here, which is your charging line. Just thread that right on there, and then when you put this, you would thread your can right on here, and the seal would seal it, and when you're ready to go, you just turn this in, and this would come through and puncture a hole and then let the refrigerant go inside. In our case, we don't have to worry about that because we have a resealing one. Now with the resealing ones, keep in mind, you've got to have an adapter for the top of them, which is what this blue thing is, because that's what uh, adapts this to this style, because you can't use this on a resealing can directly. So it will not work, and you'll have tons of issues. So in this case, we put this on already. It doesn't do anything. Just put that right on. We're gonna put this right on ahead of time as well. Got that all set to go. In this case, if I remember correctly, I believe we can just leave this open. You don't have to run this down. We'll verify that in a second, but I'm pretty sure you leave this out. Uh, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this can. You are gonna get a little spray out of this when you do this, because when it's pushing this in to seal it, it'll spritz out a little bit. That's okay, as long as it's a quick spritz, just do it fast, you'll be fine. So I'll show you real quick here. We're gonna get it on. And right like that. And then just snug it up a little bit. You don't have to crank it hard. Just get it snugged up so it's not leaking. Uh, and then we're gonna check and see, like I said, I think, let's set this here for a second. Up here, we've got our purge valve underneath this. There we go. And just stand on the side and grab a knife, flathead screwdriver, whatever, and you can just purge this. So right when you get that mist coming out. Right like that. That just gets all the air out of the yellow lines that when you fill the vacuum in, you're not putting air in the system. So you want from here, the can, to here, to be full of refrigerant before you open these valves. When we charge an AC system, you're, you should only charge on the low side, the blue side. If you charge on the high side, there's a higher risk of things blowing up. So you just don't want to do that. So charge on the left side, uh, which most of them will be left, but blue or low side. Uh, so what we're gonna do is take your can, flip it upside down, and we'll go ahead and open this one here. Just gonna pull that right in there. Let it do its thing here for a second. All right, now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to run around and start the vehicle, because once we start it up, we're gonna turn the AC system on, the pump will kick on, and it'll pull it, and it should put it into the high side, and it'll start charging it on its own. What we're gonna do is put the whole can in the first time, and then we'll show you the transfer of the second can. All right, guys, so we kinda got it off camera, because we had a little issue with our valve here. It was messing with, it wasn't seating right, so we were just having issues getting the refrigerant into the system. But we did figure it out off camera. We apologize for that. But basically you're just gonna, the first can, so if you look on the can, you got a 12 ounce can or whatever can you've got. Uh, you wanna look at your car, which in this car is over here, there's a little sticker usually somewhere related to your AC system. It'll tell you refrigerant type, which this has HFC 134A, it's basically the same thing as R134A. And then it says the max and the minimum recommended charge. So in this case it says eight, or I'm sorry, 19.4 ounces on the high side, 17.6 on the low side. So we're shooting for like 18, right in the middle. Uh, 12 ounces obviously is your first 12. Just do a whole can the first one, which are empty cans over there. And then on your second one, we're going for six, so half the can. So we just put in um, half the can. You can get a baby scale, a little food scale, whatever you've got on hand. Weigh the can before you charge it. Get an idea of what the can weighs in total. So the can plus what's in it, it'll be more than 12. You're gonna wanna charge it until that total, when you weigh it again after you've charged a little bit, 
is six ounces less, roughly. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, because you can do a little higher than that. But that's roughly what you're gonna wanna do. And then just see your gauges on here, which is not running right now. Oh, the other thing we should just mention real quick is when you're charging it, you initially will uh, hook it up, open your low side. It's gonna fill up to a certain point, and you wanna start the car and turn the AC pump on. Turn your fan to like medium and on normal AC, not high AC or max AC, whatever your car might have. Just normal AC, turn the AC pump on, make sure your pump is running, uh, and then once it's running, it'll start pulling from the low side and it'll put it into the high side automatically. And then you just keep filling it in until you get the proper amount in. So that's about it. Uh, at this point, we'll just take everything off. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Shout out to my brother SJ for helping me with the recharge of the system there. So that sums it up. I'll uh, put the link to all of the tools we use, like the, the kit and then uh, the pump in the description below. So you guys can go get some for yourself. Um, but like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.